What's that? What if I told you that 200k shares can plunge the aftermarket price of a stock by over 20% to 70 cents? Intriguing, right? Today, we're going to unravel the fascinating mechanisms behind this occurrence. We'll explore the world of aftermarket trading, delve into the concepts of volume and liquidity, differentiate between market orders and limit orders, and even touch on the phenomenon of mass selling and the role of psychological factors. So buckle up as we dive into the mechanisms behind this phenomenon. Before we get to the 200k shares, let's first understand what aftermarket trading actually is. After the final bell rings on Wall Street, trading doesn't just come to a halt. In fact, it continues on what we call aftermarket platforms. These platforms allow shares to be traded outside of regular trading hours, providing investors with the flexibility to react to news and events that happen beyond the traditional 9 to 5. This extended trading period is split into two sessions. The after hours session, which runs from 4 to 8 in the evening, and the pre-market session, which kicks off at 4 in the morning and goes up until the market opens. Now that we understand aftermarket trading and how it provides a platform for shares to be traded almost around the clock, let's move on to volume and liquidity. To comprehend how 200,000 shares can influence a price, we need to look at trading volume and liquidity. Trading volume refers to the number of shares or contracts traded in a security or an entire market during a given period. It's essentially a measure of how much a specific asset is being traded. Liquidity, on the other hand, refers to the degree to which an asset can be quickly bought or sold in the market without affecting the asset's price. High liquidity means the asset can be quickly bought or sold without causing a significant price change. Um, now when trading volume is high but liquidity is low, even small transactions can create big ripples. Imagine a pond. If there isn't much water, low liquidity, and you toss in a stone a transaction, it can cause a significant splash, price change. With this understanding, let's look at the difference between market orders and limit orders. Market orders and limit orders are two types of orders that play a crucial role in price movements. Market orders are orders to buy or sell a stock immediately at the best available current price. They're like jumping into a taxi and saying, drive. You're in a hurry and don't care about the fare. On the other hand, limit orders are more like hailing a taxi and saying, I'll ride if you take me there for 20 bucks or less. You're specifying a price, and the trade only happens if that price, or a better one, is available. Now imagine a scenario where there's a surplus of market orders, and these orders are mostly sell orders. This can drive the price down, especially if there are a few limit orders to support the price. It's like a bunch of people in a hurry to sell, but not enough buyers willing to meet their price. Now let's examine the phenomenon of mass selling. 200k shares might seem a lot, but it depends on how they are traded. Picture a scenario where a large number of sellers decide to liquidate their positions all at once using market orders. This could trigger a rapid price drop, particularly if there aren't enough buyers placing limit orders to support the price. It's a phenomenon akin to a stampede, where the rush to sell overwhelms the market's ability to absorb it all. Sometimes, psychological factors also come into play. Emotions can be a powerful force in the stock market. Investor sentiment, whether it's fear, greed, or anxiety, can heavily sway the price of a stock. When traders get nervous and rush to sell their shares, it can put immense pressure on the price, 
causing it to plummet. This can happen regardless of the company's fundamental values. It's a prime example of how psychology can play a significant role in market movements. Let's summarize what we've learned. So, what have we learned today? The intricate dance of aftermarket trading, high volume, low liquidity, market orders and psychological dynamics can cause 200,000 shares to plunge a price by 10% to 70 cents. It's an intriguing spectacle of market forces, a reminder of the importance of understanding these mechanisms to make well-informed investment decisions. Remember to like, subscribe and drop us a comment on what topics you'd like us to cover next. Until next time, happy trading.